20 Years Apart and Writers of Christchurch. In this video I get to ride my um, old bike and I also do a bit of a comparison with my mate EJ's bike, the BMW S1000RR. EJ's um, sort of the chap who started up uh, Riders of Christchurch, which is something I'm just going to talk about now. Enjoy! So EJ, um, thanks for letting me ride your bike. We're going to do some footage of it in a minute and uh, show everyone up. But so um, I came across your Facebook page. Um, <laughs> Riders of Christchurch. Yes. That's yeah, right. yeah. That's really impressive. I was really impressed with the idea of, um, you know, putting photos online of people who are doing the Akaro Highway, <coughs> and um, and yeah. So, what, what inspired you to do it? Oh, well, first of all, uh, <coughs> thank you for uh, thank you for uh, that comments. <coughs> well, to be honest, uh, I like 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 we are. We very much enjoy <coughs> riding on this road. Yeah. Every sunny day, we were right up. Yeah. And I've always uh, thought myself, imagined myself uh, on, a, on a fancy bike like this, going around the corner. Yeah. And, and that excitement there and all that uh, adrenaline, and I just wanted to have a capture that moment. Yeah. <clears throat> I've always kind of wanted to somehow get a photo of it and maybe have it posted up on the wall. Baseball, yeah. Yeah. But, but no, I've always wanted to capture the photo, but nobody was willing to kind of take a photo. Of it. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, know what? Yeah. Late, later on, I just, you know, I just went, you know, screw this. You know what? I'm just gonna do it myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I got my sister's digital SLR camera. Okay, yeah. We now want one, one weekend. We now. We now and I just uh, start taking photos mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it was I was originally going to uh, share it on my uh, personal Facebook profile yeah. but yeah. we found out to do that uh, not many uh, people would be able to see it yeah. only my yeah. Facebook uh, fans would see it the first thing I've always kind of wanted a place where I can openly share my photos yeah yeah and as a hobby yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So I started our Facebook page. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's a fantastic idea, and um, bringing the, the riding community. Sure. Yeah. Um, this is fantastic. You know, it's good that we've caught up today. Um, I learned more about yourself, and got to test ride the, uh, the BMW S1000 RR, which was a bit of a thrill for myself. Going from 50 horsepower to um, 190. So uh, we'll put some clips on in a minute. So this is me riding EJ's bike. Bloody nice bike actually. Just a few little clips here. Sorry about the poor sound quality on that video, just uh, using the microphone and my GoPro, but it isn't quite the best. But yeah, it was a fantastic bike for overtaking. Obviously this is the sort of bike you want to go and do track days on, because you know, roads aren't the best place to try it all out on. But certainly, you know, we live in a, a bike rider's paradise having Akara Road Highway on our doorstep here in Christchurch. In this clip here, EJ overtakes me on my bike. I think he was going flat out on the old um, airhead. So, caught up and then just a little bit of a twist of the wrist I was well overtaking straight away with my own bike couldn't believe it this bike had heaps of power I won't say how fast I was going here but it was a little bit over the speed limit maybe twice <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah going from 50 to um, 190 horsepower it was insane um, I guess just for those little stretches of roads you know, I was just kind of warming up, getting to know the bike, um, not really knowing where the power band was, and finding myself in sixth gear, and even on that, from 100 upwards, was probably <laughs> powerful, but I know you break quick with the power band. There's a few overtaking sections which I got, and then I went from third to fourth to fifth to sixth. It was just insane. 
Oh, first gear. First and I was gear. really scared. Like, <laughs> I mean, the fastest I've been on that bike is about 160, so that's pretty much the fastest I've ever been with, with my own control in a, in a vehicle. So yeah, it was it was pretty insane. And yeah, as I said before, I was fearing losing my ticket, but Neil pointed out there's probably other things more fearful <laughs> to be losing, such as life. <laughs> So, yeah, great bike. You mentioned um, uh, 160 uh, on the 80. Yeah. With the gear ratio on the S1000, you can reach on the first gear. <laughs> oh my god, I can barely reach 70 in first gear, or even 50 in that bike. Gosh, that's amazing. It's a uh, gear ratio is set to on the first gear 160, second mm -hmm. gear 200, third gear 235, third, 240 between, uh, yeah. fifth, sixth, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the suspension? The suspension was amazing. I mean, I'm going from a Poco stick on the R80 straight to a sort of Magnolev type train that's just sucking to the ground. There was quite a lot of um, corrugations on corners on the Akaro High, or this first bit before Little River. And it just sort of hugged down and absorbed every bump and you felt like you're solid on the ground. A few bridges where you suddenly dipped down, it just felt like it sucked onto the ground. So I don't know if that's a mixture of the aerodynamics and the, the, the intelligent suspension. I guess it's all, guess it's all computerized. Um, it was insane. And the sound of that exhaust note. Um, what do you think? That was just nice. You just want to keep revving it. You know, um, I was, I was, uh, Neil overtook me uh, to see if I could catch up because he's got better riding skills than I've got. And um, but on the one straight, I managed to catch up. Just, <laughs> that was in the 50 zone, by the way. Um, <laughs> um, just give it a few little revs when I went past. It was great. You can see it'd be a great tool for letting people know you're coming. You know, if um, some people get in your way, just give a few revs. Or you, you wouldn't even see them, just go right past. But um, <coughs> that's a fantastic bike. Oh, I like it. And, and the riding position, I yeah, riding position. I I don't like sports bikes because I'm used to being upright, going from a Vespa to this thing, which is very upright, gentleman's type ride. But it wasn't too bad. Um, maybe because I was going fast, you know, with the whole um, uh, wind pushing me. But um, it was actually quite comfy, so I can see that could be a decent um, sports tourer. Um, as you say before, you're talking about your your, your commute on that as well. Um, I guess that it is, it's certainly commutable. It's absolutely. very expensive commuter. <laughs> it is a very expensive commuter. Yeah, yeah. You could either have a a, a, a jog 50cc scooter, or you could have that. I think I'd rather have that. <laughs> yeah. But how no. about okay? How about other <clears throat> electronics and gimmicks? Have, um, you, have I, you had chance I, to try? I think the indicator was as far as I went with the electronics <laughs> on that bike, and as far as I wanted to go, um, going from. West German engineering before the Berlin Wall came down, um, where the indicators and uh, the headlights are about it. Um, I think you'd probably want to spend a couple of days with it to kind of work that all out and tell the differences. And because my my riding experience, even though I've been riding for ten years, I don't have that riding experience to know the difference because I'm not going to be pushing it to the limit. I think certainly if you're track daying it or you're doing the Acro high, high, Highway to the max, you're really going to be using those switches. But um, yeah, I, I I didn't really go anywhere with the switches and stuff. But it was nice having all the data there. You got your rev limiter. Never reached that. Uh, thank goodness. Um, and let the clutch go. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a nice one. Quick shifter. Um, also, didn't go there. Oh, I'm, I'm, yes. I'm coming from yes. the 1970s straight to this decade. Um, no, quick shift it was just too confusing for me. I'd be too scared to step on my bike and think it's a quick shift and get confused with both. But I can see um, absolutely when you're accelerating, you're overtaking that quick shift would really make a difference. Um, yeah, but it just just baffles me. I think. I, yeah. Eddie, uh, <laughs> another another benefit of quick shift is how. <coughs> But when you're on a normal, just normal uh, manual, manual shifting, you know how you get um, <coughs> that moment you lose power. So yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. But on that, it's like just a <laughs> continuous tour. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like a roller coaster or a fast car ride. You know, you get that like surge of power. Yeah. You, um, <coughs> you go through all the gears that like, continue, continue the, yeah, the yeah, power. yeah. Can, can you, can, the G-force doesn't stop. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean the G-force was enough just going from one gear to the other as a... <laughs> but yeah, it was just I mean on my bike, if I'm overtaking something that's going about 80Ks, I'll probably get up to 140 and then overtake and then slow down to the speed limit. In that, I just blinked my eyes and I was up 160. Way, <laughs> nothing was behind me anymore. Yeah. And um, and then I just thought of braking and the brakes just sudden, somehow magically turned on. Um, as with that, you got to really grip it hard and really work it. And plan, plan your head and yeah. overtake it. Yeah. I'd have to take more brain pills in order to see the future a bit further riding that bike. Where this one is sort of, um, I'm kind of managed to keep up with you know the mechanics that they can do with but yeah, absolutely highly recommend it um, yeah, I can see a lot of people enjoying that and I can see why it's such a successful bike and the sound is amazing too um, I have to say it's probably the first in line 4 I've ridden actually from memory so um, yeah um, so I've done a lot of triples and uh, singles and um, and these uh, twins and stuff yeah some more bikes are right Anyway, this is sort of wrapping it up. I've got a couple of videos of some Akaro GP riders going around some twisties coming up. But once again, subscribe, comment, really appreciate it. And enjoy the next couple of clips for the next minute or two. Cheers.